everybody welcome to sunday bit of a manic day again today you're getting a, a double whammy of days in one podcast uh, vlog again because <clears throat> i ran out of energy to um finish it off yesterday afternoon evening even but i'm now going to open my green lamp next green lambkin yarn parcel and days two for yesterday and three for today of the um Diddy Yarns Halloween countdown as well. <coughs> so I'm going to do it all in one go. If you are opening either of these and don't want to be spoiled, look away now and I'll tell you when you can look back again. Green Lambkin first. That's the next colour. Name. And this is the yarn. And the light's not great, but you get the idea. Yum yum. Okay, and now we're going to do day two of the Giddy Yarns Haunted Library. Look at the colour of the. Ah, okay. This is really good because this is full of book recommendations as well. And here's the colour. Oh. I bought one with me as well because what I want to do is lay them out and see because this is going to be a fave I think yeah oh my lord right let's do number three mm-hmm oh good grief look at those colours Oh, mouth literally watering. Right, okay, I'm going to put these away now, hide them away, and you can uh, look back and now, and I will show you what I picked up in town yesterday. Here's the bag of goodies that I bought yesterday at that shop in town called Eclectic Delights of Serendipity. You can find, if you scan that QR code there, you can find them online. They actually had an artisan market going on upstairs in the shop and I didn't, I hadn't got the time to go up and look. But I think they do it every month and they're going to have one um, at the end of November when they switch the lights on. But here's what I bought. I could have spent a fortune. Did you see that gorgeous frog pouch? Little purse. It was so adorable. They gave me this lovely Halloween little shopping bag, which was so sweet. But I got this pumpkin jingle bell, and that's going to go on the front room tree. And hopefully for the top of the tree, I got this lady. Now, hmm, Ivy gave her a name this morning. I said it reminded me of Miss Hubble from The Worst Witch. So Hubble was her surname, but I can't remember what her first name was. Oh well, but watch this. She glows green. Isn't she gorgeous? So I'm gonna put those on the tree now. Hopefully she, I will be able to fit her to sit up there on the top because I've been waiting for something for the top of the tree. So she would be perfect. I need to move that witch though because her head will get covered. She doesn't want her head up another witch's skirt, does she really? <laughs> I'll show you again at night. But doesn't she look absolutely perfect there? Hee <laughs> Oh, we need to arrange your skirts, lady. Oh no, don't fall off. I might need to do some kind of um, wire jiggery pokery under there to get her to stay. And I've put the pumpkin bell back there. I think it looks so sweet. Ha ha. Uh, I've probably shown you this before. That was a Halloween cross stitch I did from um, Caterpillar cross stitch a couple of years ago. Here is another little one. That was one of the first cross stitches I ever did. <coughs> and that was... Um, Frosted pumpkin stitchery design. And there are various other handmade 
Come on now, Cos. Um, You're doing some jobs. Yeah. Good boy. Go on, you go past. Yeah. Various other handmade bits. Some by me. This one's handmade. And this one's handmade. And I got those off for the Etsy shop. And there, look. She's been moved. There is Candy the chicken. And so far, little Miss Monkey has left her alone, which I'm very pleased about. But... And look what's under here. My Halloween quilt. This tag was made for me by um, the amazing Rachel at So Ray Me. Mm. And I haven't had a chance to touch that for ages. Really want to work on it. Hopefully, maybe next week I'll be able to do it a bit. Those are Ivy's roller skates down there that she had for her birthday. Unfortunately, too small. So I'm going to see if I can return them and get her a bigger size. Mm.